Why do we want this to start with zero? So, because in many ways, when you're talking, I mean, it's the first element. It's much easier to think about it that way. Why do we start with zero? So, well, it makes programming easier, but that's never good enough of an answer. So basically, this is how you would be able to do this. So basically, if we have an array, we need to store this somehow. It needs to be a location start from the beginning. So what is the index of the element of the particular thing? So we can calculate the index, for example, uh, in this case, by put, uh, multiply the y coordinate by 4 and adding x. So if we have this uh, 1.1,1, 1 .1, the top left corner, we end up with an index of 5, etc. And this, so it goes around this way. Uh, it also starts to become a little bit here. We actually, if we look at a binary, starts to get an overflow there in a odd way as well. Not very helpful. So basically, this is what it looks like if we look at it in linear memory, that structure. So that is the idea. Okay, we have these values this way. So if we do this, so but yeah, the formula is correct, but you start out the fifth index, so you need to do extra calculations to just get into your array. Because how is an array stored in, stored in the computer memory? An array in computer memory is just the address of the first element and maybe the amount of the length of the array. If you have a language like C or C++, it doesn't even store the length of the array. It's up to you to figure out what the, what the length is. Of course, those uh, those interested in security know that is a very good way of creating what we call buffer overflows. The array is a buffer, and if you put more into it than it can contain, you're writing on other memory that shouldn't be overwritten. Of course, that memory can then be used. Sometimes you can use that what is stored there as oh, this is actually which uses it and it determines what it's going to do next, and then you can get executable code. Uh, you can basically start to determine what the program does rather than have the programmer determine it. The hacker can. We don't want that. So these are arrays, and it's much easier to do this. By the way, your CPU actually, or your Intel CPU actually has support for doing multiplication and addition in one command. For array lookup um, and offset, so, uh, so the addition also is there to have like offsets in, uh, in structures, for example. So if we have a class, we want the fourth attribute and stuff like that in this array of classes, of objects. So if we do zeros, we get something that's much cleaner in this particular case. Also, what we can see in this case is that we have a column of four, we that just uses the last two bits. Whereas in the previous version, the bits are all over the place. Uh, and in particular, it's worth uh, so having this will, will, will affect bits everywhere. So. Of course, this is only true if you have a, uh, a power of two uh, width of your uh, of your array. If you do uh, row, row major, if you use column major, then the column will four, obviously. Um, so this is why we want to kind of look at it. Okay, um, start with zero. It makes, in some ways, things a lot easier. Um, always. And of course, not everything uses start with zero. Has anyone ever tried to use JDBC? JDBC uses uh, columns that start with the index of one. We want consistency, but unfortunately, it's not there. 